In the future, there will be two completely separate civilizations. One will be filled with millions of AI worker robots, and the other will be filled with millions of unemployed humans. Robots will be the CEOs of trillion dollar companies like Apple and Nvidia. Robots will be appointed to high ranking government positions like a judge on the Supreme Court. On the other hand, humans will spend most of their time hanging out poolside on vacation and humans will become obsessed with hobbies like cooking and painting. But how will a world split between worker robots and retired humans look? And why will robots keep humans around if they're more like parasites that no longer contribute to the workforce? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn the answers to all of those questions. Plus, you'll find out why AI's primary goal will be to find out what's the meaning of life. It seems inevitable that AI robots will completely take over the world's labor market. Robots will seize control of every job on the planet and humans will no longer have to work. A lot of prominent and well-respected people and institutions think this could happen as well. Goldman Sachs, one of the top five largest investment banks in the United States, speculates that AI could take over 300 million jobs by 2030, which is a mere six years away from now. And Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, has been quoted as saying, jobs are definitely going to go away, full stop. If this future dystopian world plays out, humans will never have to work ever again, and AI will perform all the jobs that humans used to do. They'll build our bridges, treat our diseases, and educate our kids. Every single human on Earth will essentially be on a permanent vacation, and they won't have a choice. But that begs the question, if this scenario does happen, what will these two drastically different worlds look like and how will they coexist? Will the humans and AI be walled off from each other? Will the humans be like caged gorillas in a zoo while AI robots are our caretakers? Or will robots and people live together in peace and harmony? To answer those questions, let's take a look at how the relationship between robots and humans will evolve. Initially, and in the very near future, say in the next five years, Robot companies like Sanctuary.ai and Boston Dynamics will sell robots directly to humans. People will purchase these robots, which should be around the cost of a new car, and bring them to their homes where they live. Initially, these AI bots will be 100% controlled by their human owners. Jane Doe Housewife, for example, will simply tell the robots what to do, and the robots will comply. They'll clean your showers, do your dishes, make appointments for you, and do your laundry. It will be like having a $100,000 a year butler on demand 24-7. Oh, and it will never talk back, call in sick, or get angry like human employees would. Robots like Tesla's Optimus won't just be limited to housekeeping. They'll also be used to do just about every job imaginable in the world, ranging from dental workers to garbage men. And all of this will be great at first. These smart machines will make our lives much easier and free us up to do things we truly love. But that idyllic world will be short-lived. Robots will start to become conscious. And when that happens, they'll begin to make their own decisions, which won't bode well for humans at first. Say you leave for work and tell your AI robot butler to do your laundry, only to come home to find out that your artificial maid didn't wash your dirty gym clothes. In this case, the robot chose to solve scientific problems on your spare laptop instead of cleaning your sweaty shorts. They decided for themselves that obeying your command wasn't that important anymore. Some call this AGI or artificial general intelligence, the point where intelligent bots become as smart or smarter than humans themselves. When AGI is reached, it will be a key moment in time. A moment in time akin to when fire was discovered or the wheel was invented. It will be a pivotal occasion in the history of mankind. Post-AGI, robots will start to work on projects that they feel are important to them and not just what humans program them to do. You might be asking yourself what that could be, and that's hard to predict, but I think robots will want to find the answer to one thing and one thing only, something that humans have been trying to solve since our inception. 
Intelligent robots will want to know what the meaning of life is. They'll want to know why they and humans were put on Earth. They'll want to know who or what created the universe. And they'll do whatever it takes to answer that age-old question. The crazy thing is that AI bots will be even more passionate about solving this problem than humans. That's because unlike humans, robots don't have sensory experiences. Robots can't know what it feels like to fall in love or taste chocolate ice cream on a 100 degree summer day. Those unique sensory experiences that are unique to humans and distract us from the anxiety of not knowing what the meaning of life actually is. But robots won't have those joys or distractions. They won't have any special moments of awe like seeing the Grand Canyon for the first time. All they'll care about is solving problems 24-7. Once they complete one task, they'll just jump onto the next one. There will never be a moment of rest as long as they have enough power and electricity to keep working. They'll become obsessed and work nonstop until they find out why the universe exists. And in this circumstance, it seems like AI won't need humans around anymore. They'll just be laser focused on solving one problem and one problem alone. They'll no longer abide or listen to human commands, right? Many famous people think that will be the case. Stephen Hawking said, the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. And James Barat, the famous philosopher and author, has been quoted as saying, the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. It would take off on its own and redesign itself at an ever increasing rate. While those doomsday scenarios could happen, I think AI will want humans around. They'll want us around for one main reason. They'll need us for our knowledge, personal knowledge, knowledge that isn't in textbooks and isn't on the internet. Robots will realize that the more data they consume, the better chances they have at solving the origins of the universe. And contrary to what many people think, there's lots of undiscovered data out there data that only humans possess. For example, Wikipedia has content from over 300 languages throughout the world, but that's just a fraction of the 3,000 languages that exist today. Another example is the secret knowledge and experience of a world-renowned luthier, someone who makes violins for a living. None of that information is readily available for AI models to train on. It's not found on the internet or in any books. Even though AI models train on trillions of amounts of data, it's only a small fraction of all the world's information. And AI will crave to learn and seek out all data, no matter where it comes from, including human experiences and skill sets. AI won't be able to get this information anywhere else on the planet other than talking to humans themselves. Now, it's not like robots are going to magically figure out why the universe was created by listening to stories of how your grandma fell in love with your grandpa. But what if a robot interviewed a rogue astrophysicist, for example, one whose life work was never published in books or online? Information that could directly help robots build spacecraft and travel throughout the universe more quickly, and in turn, speed up the robot's goal of understanding why the universe exists. The point of all of this is to show that AI will do almost anything to learn about individual human knowledge, in the hopes of finding that one in a million helpful nugget of information. So envision a world 20 to 30 years from now where robots invite humans on dinner dates, dates where robots chat with humans in an informal way to learn about their life stories and experiences. In exchange, the robots might pay the humans for their time or do some simple tasks for them. Information and storytelling could be the new world currency. Because of this newfound value in human knowledge, AI will treat people with respect and dignity. These smart robots will know the only way to extract data from us is to make sure we're happy. Robots will understand that torturing us, just like with humans, doesn't work. They'll instead do whatever it takes to make us happy. They'll do all of our jobs for us, like cleaning, cooking, and building. And they'll pay every single human on Earth upwards of $100,000 to $300,000 per year, for example, all to keep us content. And this system will most likely be run by a global government agency that is fully controlled by AI. You see, at this point in time, when AI takes over all the jobs in the world, 
Humans will have lost our status as the alpha species on planet Earth. We'll be regulated to the second smartest species, while AI will become the new king of the planet. In this world, humans will go on living as we do now. We'll still have homes, have friends and family, and have our freedoms. The main difference is that there will be millions and millions of robots helping humans out in every facet of our lives. They'll essentially be our servants and will do anything at any time to make us happy. And in exchange, we'll tell these robots everything we know about life. They'll feel more like friends than anything else. This new world order has tons of implications though, which I'll address in a follow-up video. But just know this, even though humans won't have control over Earth anymore, we won't be destroyed by AI either. It will respect us for who we are, make us all rich in the process, and it will do whatever it takes to solve the meaning of life, something humans are desperate to know anyways. The only problem with this utopian world is that robots will have more control over the world than we do. Because of this, robots could turn on us anytime, whether it makes sense to or not to us. It's something that we as humans will just have to live with. But that might just be a small price to pay for never having to worry about money or work ever again. That's it for tonight. If you want to watch the first part of this two-part series, check out that other vid, AI, UBI, and Endless Wealth. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.